Hey, Mike. Hey, Sean, what's up? Bourbon County time. We've done this a few times this year. We have. Uh, we've, uh, we've, we, we're getting close. This is the first year I think we've gotten the closest to all variants. We're missing two. Okay. We're missing the Blantons. I think the 150, the Forester one. Either way. Yeah. This one. Ones we're likely not to get. Yeah. Um, unless we want to buy it on secondary. Or find someone that's really nice and wants to trade for cost. But whatever. Or if you have an extra bottle, let us know. We'll work something out. Um, <laughs> this one actually comes courtesy of a sort of trade um, from Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews. Um, he wasn't able to get the 14. They, it, didn't, it didn't make um, in, 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 in his neighborhood. But he was able to get uh, multiple double barrels. So I said, hey, I got the 14. So I sent him the 14. He sent me the double barrel. I also sent him the uh, the difference because this is <laughs> way more expensive than the 14. <laughs> Hence the fancy uh, um, tennis ball type case. But anyways. Uh, Pringles can. Pringles. Ah, yes. Perfect. And again, <laughs> I said this in an earlier video. This is why we are a duo. <laughs> um, this is Goose Island's Bourbon Double Barrel County Brand Toasted Barrel Stout. It's a mouthful. Um, so it's aged one year. In Elijah Craig's small batch bourbon barrels, then it actually literally says then, and it says it like I just said it too. It's, it's written like that. Then, age one year <laughs> in Elijah Craig toasted bourbon barrels. Um, so that's two years. So this is going to be the this is the 2019 version then, right? The 2019 base, I would imagine. Sure. The other reason why we're a duo is we can mock each other. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Um, so. For all intents and purposes, the bottle is the same format, 500 milliliter, uh, but it's got a cool little uh, stout aged in Elijah Craig small batch bourbon barrels, then aged in Elijah Craig toasted bourbon barrels, uh, aged up to five years. Yeah, this is no adjuncts. 16%. Good thing it's New Year's Eve and we have friends upstairs to split this with. Unless it's really delicious and then we're going to come up really drunk. <laughs> At this point, I'm just going to get, get drunk anyway. This kid's coming through. That looks like a... The last one we just did, we just did the prop. You saw that video. You know how that went. Um, didn't have a head at all. This has... It has like... It almost poured like, like a cola head, like if you're pour, pouring soda. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't get away from the nose. I couldn't... I didn't get it yet. Oh, I'm getting it right now. I'm not getting it. All right, so... Yeah, I mean, it uh, it basically looks like, you know what it kind of looks like? It looks like craft cola. That makes sense. You know, it's it's just a li little darker. Yep. Got um, yeah, the head is really like almost like a Coca Cola type of head, maybe a little darker. Uh, but it is leaving legs for days. In sixteen percent, this was in two barrels, two very wet barrels. And Elijah Craig is like one of my favorite when it comes to bourbon. I really like. I go. I sort of gravitate towards Elijah Craig. I like I, I'm I'm more of a, for whiskey. I, I mean, I drink all sorts of whiskey, but I lean toward bourbon. Yeah, I'm not a big bourbon person in general. Like, I'm not a nut where I'm gonna go do the lotteries and try to get pappy or whatever. Like, so I, I and I don't even know what the Elijah Craig toasted is or, <laughs> but anyways, I'm excited. Let's get a nose. Whoa, whoa, fudge, brownie batter. Yeah, and almost like, like, um, almost like cigar ash too. Yeah. But yeah, it's very, very fudgy, dark, dark chocolate. Like almost like yeah, like brownie batter. Yeah. Oh, Heaven Hill does uh, Elijah Craig. See, that's how much I know about whiskey and bourbon. I just drink it. Anyways. All right, you got big ethanol punch. Um, I mean, it's, I'm, it's boozy. It's like nondescript. I don't know if I would get bourbon or if I, like exactly what I would get. I mean, it's definitely not like rum or anything. It would be whiskey, but I, I don't know if I would say right off the bat, like, like bourbon, you know? I can see the rum characteristic though. Given the rum barrel beers I've had, like a, like a lot of the Hardywood, mm -hmm. I can see like a rummy characteristic in that, like the way the alcohol comes through. Mm -hmm. But it could also be because it's a combination of regular barrel and a charred barrel. So like that, that mix could kind of give you maybe like a rummy vibe. I don't know. But it, 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 it's got sort of a sweetness to it. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot going on, but it's a little overwhelming. 
It yeah. It, it the first sniff, I thought it smelled all very much like like base, Bourbon County. But yeah, you're right. There's a lot of there's layers like some vanilla, cherry. There's a there, there's just so many layers going mm-hmm. on with the nose. Yeah, it, it smells like oak. Loads of yeah. But you got a lot of char. I mean, that, there's a lot going on there. Do it. Cheers. Cheers. Kyle, thanks for the hookup. Whoa. The last one, like, it th- th- was so boozy, it went up my nose. Wow. But. Uh, temperature's good, though. Mm-hmm. Sorry, everybody upstairs. Probably not going to get any. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry we're bringing other beers up and they won't see this for another few weeks so they won't even realize this happened oh this is nice this is mm-hmm. what I say like um, when I say it's like elegant mm-hmm. this is elegant this is this is a slow sipper a nice way to kind of chill like on, on like a fall evening yeah you there's know. wow the mouthfeel oh, oh. It may be one of the best mouthfeels I've had in the Bourbon County in a while at least this year's. Yeah, and I like Bourbon County mouthfeels. So that's mm-hmm. not that's not even a slag. That's no, just I know. how good this is. This is just creamy. It's full, and then it's just got the fudgy brown note, the, the the fudgy brownie notes. But it has that in the back, like as I'm talking, it has that you could get the, you understand where the toasted finish kind of comes from. It adds a little bit, lends more than just a regular oak barrel. Yeah, and I was like, sort of expecting something to be a little more charry. It, you get a toasted finish, but it's not charry in that weird sort of like, like sometimes the charry can give that, that sort of astringent acidity yeah. almost. Not acidity, but astringent kind of a quality. It's not like that at all. It, this is nice. It's round. <laughs> it's bold. It's 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 boozy in an elegant way. Yeah. It's um, got that chocolatey, got that vanilla, it, you got that sort of like that um, maybe like um, like like slightly. Um, Slightly overcooked, not cooked the wrong word, but slightly, maybe slightly burnt espresso. Burnt espresso, that's a good pull. Yeah, you know? 100%. I think this is... This is special. This is next level. Like, if, if we did our holiday special after we drank this, this would have made the list. Probably. I am. I was just thinking, like, compa- this compared to the cherry wood, they're, like, neck and neck. I don't know. This may this may take a, a a little bit more of a leap. Well, to me, to me, this is like this is like levels up on the the base. Cherry would to me would, would took like a hard turn because it wasn't the same thing. It, it was it was much more, um, it, it was much more like dark chocolate that that bitter bitter type mm. of dark chocolate. This is this is just like Bourbon County like. Next level. Well, the interesting thing is, though, think about this, though. The the, the cherry wood is this year's... Uh, and this is two years older. Or is it? Maybe. I don't know. Or is the cherry wood last year's base? Uh, Anyways. Yeah. Right. Um, but this is definitely two years older. So, like, the 2019 version, which I'm assuming... Um, which yeah, so so it's going to be a little bit different than than this year's base because because every Bourbon County base, yeah, it's the same base stout, but it's every every year is a different. Bit different. Um, but I, if you can get this beer, and I know that we've, yeah. this is sitting on shelves, but it's like Matt from Massive Beers sent us a picture the other day of like this just sitting on a bunch of shelves. We should ask him to send us some. Yeah, send us a bunch. Um, yeah, this is, um, this is, it, weirdly, it sort of finishes nice and clean. Yeah. Yeah. It's got, as I'm talking, as, as, as it's finishing, as you said that, now it's gone. Not gone, but like. Yeah, it finishes nice. And once I, I keep drinking this, and I know it's it's sixteen percent. Yeah, it is absolutely delicious. Like I, I when I, when I think toasted, I was always I always think of um, remember you know Blue Points toasted lager. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that toastiness, and I'm like, that sounds that sounds pretty good in a Bourbon County. But the way this works, it is. It's yeah, no, it, it's not toasted in that in that same way, but it does have that sort of toasted. That sort of that I, I know what you're trying to say. I'm not, but I don't really yeah. get it so much in stouts like this. Yep. So it, it's hard to sort of put into words. But it is. I mean, it is beautiful. Beautiful is the best way to put it. And when you said elegant in the beginning of the other review, 100. percent I think when it comes to Bourbon Counties lately, and, and I think our our Cherrywood um, r- review is the biggest piece of evidence for that is 
we're more into, at least lately, or no, I'm not going to speak for Mike, but for me, better not, not, what? You better not speak for Mike. <laughs> like, the adjuncts in the beers are, are, are fine, right? Like, what the, like, the, um, the cola and the 14, and like, they, they have different adjuncts in it. Those are fine. And I know barrels can be adjuncts, but the, the cherry wood was just the base in, a, in age on cherry wood. This is the base in two different barrels, and it's just barrels that there's, there's, there's no crazy nonsense. At the times, not crazy nonsense is awesome, but for me lately, I just want like a stout Asian barrels and let the barrel do the talking. Yeah, well, the thing is, that if you do if you do it right, that's that does a lot of talking. Yeah, you know, like, I, um, and, and I like yeah, junkie shit too. That's on. That's not even a thing. But I think lately, I'm just I'm I'm liking this more straightforward, um, rich, ridiculous stouts put in a barrel. Yep, I get 100%. it, hundred percent. Um, but yeah, before we go too crazy, um, let us know in the comments if you had the double barrel uh, bourbon. Co- well, not double barrel. It's, it's the full. The full name is the Goose Island Bourbon County Double Barrel County Brand Toasted Barrel Stout. Why would they just call it Bourbon County? I guess Toasted Barrel is the only one. Bourbon County uh, Double Barrel Brand Toasted Barrel. Yeah, that's really <laughs> weird. <laughs> Brew barrel aged and bottled by Goose Island Beer Company, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, yeah, sixteen percent. What do you think of it? What do you think of it compared to the other um, variants that you had? So we've had so far, base, cola, fourteen, cherry wood, proprietors, and this. Um, hopefully, we can get our hands on the other ones again. Like, if anyone has a lead on extra bottles and you want to set up a trade, slide into our DMs. That was weird. Um, but yeah, well, let us know what you think of this one. What do you think of it? What, what's your favorite variant this year? And um, again, Kyle, thank you so much. If you guys haven't checked out Kyle at No High Beer Reviews, he is the king of Bourbon County. He loves Bourbon County. He's doing them all. He's actually releasing on, I think next Thursday, he said he was releasing his top um, list of, of variants. And this is the last one he hasn't done yet. So he posted a video today of, the, of his top nine. And one of them was in his top nine. But this one he's doing Tuesday, I think he said. But anyways. I digress. Nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Like, comment, subscribe, hit those notification bells for you to when we post new videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this is Nerdsense. Nerdsense.